good way to start the day. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little intro. Great way to start the day. <clears throat> Why not? It's my Sunday. Don't judge me. I don't drink a lot anyway. That bottle of Bailey's I've had for literally a couple years. Perhaps it hasn't gone bad yet. But with the alcohol in it and being in the fridge, it's probably not going to go bad. Um, yeah. So anyway, and I do love coffee and Bailey's. I, uh, there was a time there just a couple of years ago where I would go through a thing of Bailey's a month with my coffee. I'd have, I'd just sit home and, you know, there's nothing worse than getting buzzed on coffee and a liquor because your body don't know what to do. You know, you're, you're, you're messed up, you know, you're, ooh, but the coffee won't let you pass out. If that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> you want to, you're like, oh man, I just want to go to sleep. You lay down a bit and then you're like, oh, but I got to do this. I got to do that. And then the buzz comes back in and you're back wide awake. And so it, it's kind of, but it just tastes so good. It's one of the few liquors I really like the Bailey's with coffee. Um, it's a drink I always get when I go out to, uh, dinners anywhere and stuff like that. Unless I'm driving, I'll have one, you know, but I'm not an irresponsible driver by any stretch of the word. <clears throat> you know, I'll have one coffee and Bailey's at the start of my, usually the start of the meal, not even the meal so much, just the, the start of the, and you sit down, whoever you're out with, friends, dates, whatever, family. Oh, can I get you something to drink? before you order type deal like they always do and you know most people get water pop or juice or something i'm like coffee and baileys <laughs> and then after that it's straight coffee water and lemon um so but uh yeah it's a drink i always get. anyway that's getting off topic um review the bath and body works uh coffee and whiskey um great scent great scent uh a banger honestly it's it's going to be i guarantee it's it's already starting to pick up steam i noticed um within the next couple months especially as winter comes because it's, it's definitely a fall winter scent um you're going to see a lot more talk about this one and i'm going to assume uh maybe even sell out a lot at bath and body works because they don't stock a lot of these <clears throat> even their bigger stores generally their men's line well, let's be real. Their men's line isn't that good. Um, yeah, the, the odd banger here. Not even banger, but the odd good one here, good one there. And, and this is the real first. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but this is the really the first banger. Like, really good scent. And I've smelled a lot from Bath & Body Works uh, that I smelled. I mean, it was, it was like, wow. It was the first Bath & Body Works I had to have. Had to have. There was no way around it. I had to have this one. It's my type of scent too, though. I like I like creamy coffees and alcohols and 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 chocolates and vanillas and spices in my scent. I'm not a big. Uh, I actually don't like most what people would call summer scents, um, or lighter scents. They're not my deal. Some people that's great. I mean, there's some good ones. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Jean Barbeto Cyrus and Pure, I'm looking at you. But uh the king, the king likes to smell a little rich, if you know what I mean. So um yeah, boozy scents, vanilla scents, coffee scents, um are my jam. I don't generally like overly gourmand scents though. That's funny. I don't like uh <clears throat> what's the one? It's not a bad scent or anything, and I like it okay, but uh for an example, I can't remember the Ferragamo, uh, whatever it is there, the two of them um, that are just really gourmandy, like super gourmandy. It's like you sprayed yourself with a, a coffee cake on both of them. And I love the smell. Just as a clone, I find that even a little too much for the king. He, uh, he doesn't want to smell that gourmandish, but they're still good and I still wear them and I enjoy them. Um, but anyway, getting off topic, sorry. This was a, this is a, definitely <clears throat> the potential to be that hype beast, that next cheapy a la Nautica Voyage uh, is there. And 
I imagine they're going to sell out. So go to your local Bath and Body Works, pick it up now. Uh, this is one of those scents you can go and try because Bath and Body Works always has a sample there. Again, spray yourself because some people say they don't get good performance with this. They don't get that. They don't get this. I'll get into it in the review starting now. Um, first off, let me say, I went back and bought the full collection. There's the cream, the face cream, body cream, whatever you want it. The uh, body wash and the body spray. And I have two bottles of this, the actual cologne. Um, so it's, it's uh, there's not really a whole lot of write-ups about it. It's released this year. There's not really any notes, but some of the notes I pick up obviously are coffee, whiskey, uh, vanilla, maybe some caramel, because um, it does have a creamy vibe later in the scent. So maybe some caramel or toffee, something like that, and uh, some hazelnut. Now I know there's probably more in there. There's probably some lavender. There's always lavender to, you know, give it that push. You don't smell any lavender in this, but there is a slight powderiness to it, which suspects me to believe there's lavender in there. Could be iris. There is. It could be either or. Could be both. Um, I wouldn't be surprised once the note breakdown does come out and people start with that. It's either iris and or lavender that's giving it that bit of, not a floral feel. And I don't want you to think iris because everybody, as soon as you hear iris, you think fucking Dior Homme. There's none of that. It's or lavender. People think like Prada Luna or Prada, uh, Prada Pour Homme. No, it's not that. It's just they're using whatever floral they're using is to give it a bit of a a dusty powdery vibe. Even could be a rose, just giving it a dusty powdery vibe. Um, and it's only slight, but it, it works the way it's done. It's where I don't know who the perfumer is. <clears throat> Couldn't find much information on it yet. It just came out. So it. When I, when I do, I'll do an update. But whoever they are, um, really good job, guys. Give you the royal clap from the king. Really good job on this one. Um, I have the uh, leather and brandy, and that one's really good too. But this is this is the shit. Um, so when you first spray it on, <clears throat> my skin does really well with coffee and any kind of booze. Um, my nose picks it up really well too. So some people say they don't get the coffee. Some people say they don't get the booze. Some people say they don't get either. Um, to me, it is Im immediately whiskey. Boom. I hit that whiskey right off the top. Bang. Like a straight up whiskey. It's unapologetically whiskey. Um, now that only lasts a couple minutes. <clears throat> And then the, I get a, a roasted coffee, um, like uh, not a brewed coffee. There is a difference between a brewed coffee and, and, the, and roasted coffee beans. We all know that. And it's more of the roasted coffee bean I get, a roasted coffee smell that just started to be broke down in a grinder. So the, the aromatics are coming out um, and they combine very nice. And that's the, for the first hour or so, um, that's where, to me, it's coffee and whiskey. There's no, like I said, there's some powderiness there. Um, but then in the mid and getting into the dry down, what starts to come out is the underlying sweetness. This is never an overly sweet scent, but it's got just the right amount of sweetness. And it starts to come out. And I don't know what it is. Like I said, it... it it could be a vanilla, a benzoin. Uh, there's a bit of a, a nutty flair to it. So I'm thinking hazelnut, um, a bit of creaminess. So maybe it's not a vanilla they're using. Maybe it's a caramel or a toffee with a little bit of hazelnut. But it's this sweetness. This under, The coffee and whiskey is always there. But there's this underlying sweetness about in the mid that starts to come out and... You know, it, 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 neither one of them overpower each other. It's never more coffee and whiskey than the sweetness. It's just the right balance there. Do you know what I mean? Especially when it hits the dry down a few hours later. It is a, that is where it smells to me the most like uh, Bailey's and coffee. It's got this creamy sweetness that Bailey's has and booziness with that 
now the ground coffee smell is gone and it's more of a soft uh brewed coffee you know it's it's and it's perfectly balanced one never overpowers the other is what i'm saying that it and then so about three <clears throat> three and a half hours in like i said a few hours in is where it really starts to smell like coffee and baileys to me and i freaking love it it's my favorite drink on this planet coffee and baileys always has been i can't imagine anything ever replacing it um it smells to me just delectable delicious all that stuff um performance again hit or miss this is why i'm saying try this one go to bath and body works and try this one for me it's great even without all this stuff just the cologne itself i get anywhere from five to six hours on my skin uh, um even like that five or six hours it's not a skin scent yet after about six hours it becomes a skin scent but it's still there for a couple hours so realistically, I could reapply after five hours or I'm fine on a work day, an eight or nine hour work day because it's still going to be there. You have to smell it. You have to get in and smell it, but it's still there. I don't stank. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised by it. Um, and if you add the just the cream alone, you can add an hour and a half to performance not so much projection which brings me to it projection is okay even it's not bad especially that first hour hour and a half where it's that lavender iris whatever they're using is helping push the coffee and the whiskey vibe and the aromatics and it's flushing out there you get you never it's never beast mode you're never going to fill up a room but it gives you another another arm's length for about an hour hour and a half so people don't have to be right up on you to smell it they're going to smell it from a few feet away. <clears throat> now, could you make it beast mode like everything if you spray yourself 40 times with it? Of course. But a legitimate wear, you know, and this is a five or six sprayer, maybe even a seven. And I'll get into that because of the sprayer. But, um, yeah, it's great. This will add a little more to your projection. Give you about an extra half hour. Um, not this. This is just more for, again, longevity. <clears throat> But when you first, let's get into the spray. Get the dry down there. Spray it here. I don't know if I have anything on there. I don't like these sprayers. They're cheap. They move. They come right off. I don't know if you can see that. That's not good. And they don't spray a lot of juice. So you can hear it like a click, click. Um, so you have to spray yourself. It's like a half a spray from one normal one. So that's why I'm saying actually it's probably closer to eight because I usually spray myself four times. So I probably spray myself eight or 10 times with this, which seems like a lot. But like you've seen from the dispense of the uh, atomizer, you're not getting a big spray. It is literally half a spray for most other atomizers. So double up on your sprays. <clears throat> yeah, that coffee and whiskey is right off the top. It smells like coffee and whiskey. And then, like I said, I've got about three hours into here, maybe four, and it's softened quite a bit. The whiskey's not as in your face, but now it's a creamy, sweet, again, don't think overly sweet. It's just an underlying sweet. It's like a Bailey's, the sweet, creamy, soft, vanilla, caramel-esque type scent, still with that whiskey and coffee prominent beautiful scent beautiful scent um i've worn it a few times as you know from the videos i love it i've got nothing but good good reactions from it not one person has said they didn't like it i've had half a dozen compliments in a few times i've worn it so it's definitely a compliment a compliment monster i don't say that a lot but it is it's going to get you compliments from the ladies um Unless they don't like the smell of coffee. And I don't know, even people who don't drink coffee, like my mother, can't stand coffee, loves the smell of coffee. Love, she will literally, when people are coming over sometimes, just put on a pot of coffee. She never drank a coffee in her life except for once, and she hated it. 
and she'll put on a pot of coffee so she can get that smell in the air, especially if it's early in the morning. It's just one of those early in the morning scents, you know, which is funny because this is more of an evening scent and a, a fall scent and a winter scent. So, but um, it, it gives you a cozy vibe. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like, <clears throat> it gives you this cozy, homey vibe, this smell. And that's what people, I think, really like about it. It's, it reminds them of home and of, or their favorite coffee shop because of the initial blast is like you walk into a coffee shop and, you know, there's no whiskey there, I know, but they have the fakes, you know, Irish creams and whiskeys and things like that to mix with them and uh, vanillas and things like that. And it's almost like you walk into a coffee shop, a slightly posh coffee shop, not so much a Starbucks or kind of a Starbucks, not so much a Tim Hortons or a Duncan, more of a straight up coffee house you know what i mean you walk into there first thing in the morning some corner in new york you walk into this coffee shop this little local treasure i guess and that's kind of what it, the vibe it gives me it's a, just a warm and they're warm and inviting um <clears throat> yeah so so that's it for the, the review guys uh i would recommend also like i said getting the if you don't get anything at least get the clone uh, this will do you just fine too if you if you if you don't mind the fact that it's not a projector but this smell lasts again seven eight hours on your skin it's not going to project a whole lot because it's a moisturizer but it'll definitely if you're one of the people and there's some out there who don't really want to project but you still want that smell then get the cream but i'd get all of it together i wish they made a hard soap and a deodorant because i'd buy that too so <laughs> i'd layer the shit out of that and i'd smell like starbucks <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so that's it um review uh next couple videos i'm gonna do uh uh and they'll probably be coming tonight next video or two um i'm gonna do a day with uh the at the fire on the fire i just did the review sorry of on the fireplace i'm gonna do a day with i'm your out the uh by the fireplace clone not quite a clone, but it's close. So, a little bit of a preview. And I'm also going to do a, a versus. I know you better. Again, preview. I might like one a little better than the other, and it's probably not the one you think, but only for certain reasons. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you for all the great compliments on my videos. I know I've been trying harder to make them more engaging, more fun than me just sitting here. Uh, I'm trying to keep that energy up. My time of year is coming, though. Part of that is the fact that I'm a fall-winter guy. I love the fall, the winter. I don't like January, most of February. I don't think anyone does that lives in Canada because it's just disgusting. When I say it's minus 40 with a wind chill of minus 50, I'm not lying. Nobody likes that. I don't care who you are. <clears throat> but late September, October, November, and most of December is cold, but not unbearable. And it's nice. That's when you do all your skiing, your snowboarding, your winter hikes in the woods are incredible. The animals you see, bears getting ready for the winter and the fall, you know, when you walk, you'll see wolverines and wolverines playing in the snow is the coolest thing. Anyway, it's not what I'm getting at. This is why I think the energy's up. My energy's up. This is, I'm built. I'm Canadian. I'm chubby. I'm hard. I'm solid. I'm built for this kind of weather, and I love it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for all the compliments, all the, all the nice things you're saying. Um, and thanks for the people who also are saying bad things, negative things. You know, I don't mind criticisms. Uh, if they're valid, I'll learn from them, and I'll do my best to correct them. If they're just somebody being a dick, I just give them a thumbs up. You know, it's like smiling at somebody when they come into your work yelling, have a great day, because you know it pisses them off even more. Throw the thumbs up button. That's kind of the equivalent on the internet. Thanks. All right, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other. Hopefully, I'll be back a little bit later tonight.